hey friends i hope you are doing great and today we will just see how to write a c program that can count how many times all the distinct elements are repeated in an array okay so let's get started so let's first save the file and repeated element okay dot c save it okay inside or nothing folder include stdio dot h and main function so at first we need the size of the size of the array okay and scan that So we have our size and now let's declare the array which has the size as the size of the array and we need a counter to use in a for loop so i is equal to 0 i less than size i plus plus and here we are going to scan all the elements okay so we are going to store that ele those elements into num okay so num no no, no, no scan if percent d comma address of num okay and we are going to store the distinct elements inside a okay the array a so if it is a distinct element we will store it into a so for that we need to check it is a distinct element or not so we will check does it already exist in a or not so for that we need another for loop so maybe in later inside a there can be 10 elements so, so that's why we need a for loop we cannot just use the if here and we also need a uh, count so that we know how many elements a has okay so for that that count is there and another it j that is for iteration and j is equal to 0 j less than count okay so count is the tail of a okay so it is the it is pointing to the last element of uh, a and uh, j plus plus of course so now we can check if num is equal to a of j if it is equal to a of j then we are going to use another another array that will tell the repeat how many times the element is repeated so b of j is going to increase so what is b of j so that's why we need to initialize this with uh, 0 all the elements of b will be 0 and will increase the position of uh, b that is j so we will increase the j and if it does not exist okay if this condition is false for all the elements that exist inside a so this will say the loop will over and the element does not exist so that's why we need a flag so if the flag is or uh, still zero then we are going to store that element into a because the element does not exist this element is a distinct element so mm, we need to store it in the count position so the count position will store the num and we will increase the counter 
ओके बट वी हैवन डील्ड विथ द फ्लैग येट सो फ्लैग इज गोइंग टू बी वन हेयर एंड वी नीड टू डिक्लेयर द फ्लैग ओके वी कैन से इट हेयर बिकॉज इट्स अ लोकल वेरिएबल दैट से इट so flag is zero every time it will be zero before the iteration starts and so it will be one here if it is if it already exist already exist inside a so it will increase the b and then this condition will be false so all good i guess so let's uh, print uh, a and b so i is equal to 0 i less than count so count is saying that these are the distinct these are the distinct elements so okay so the size may be 10 but distinct elements may be less than 10 maybe there are only three distinct elements so count is saying the three there is these are the distinct element and so that's why we are not using size here because size will say more than count most of the cases so i plus plus and a print is person d is uh, repeated person d times okay so that can be singular or plural so what is the first person d is a of j these are the distinct elements and let's say this is 3 and 3 is repeated two times so, so the times are in the b array b so so that's it so save it and let's go to terminal and compile it so before that we need to go to the folder so nothing and inside that we have repeat repeated element dot c and it is compiled fine no errors and uh, what we have is a dot out so okay it is, okay i didn't give any printer here so it is waiting for this scan if okay scan of size so let's give it a size of 10 so now it will ask for 10 integers so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 so every element is repeated once okay this is repeated zero times this is repeated zero times this is repeated zero times so there is some kind of error so just give it a minute give me a minute okay hi you hope you already got the mistake because you can see me typing the errors so there is the mistake i am using i uh, inside this for loop but uh, then i am printing the values with j so this is the um, error not exactly syntax error so i need to use i both uh, in both the uh, arrays as index so now we can compile it again and just run it and let's give again 10 elements 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 three okay let's not repeat that so okay i have 1 2 3 5 another element i need that is 10 okay so one is repeated once because one is here and one is here also and then two is repeated once three is repeated once and four is not repeated okay four is not repeated five five is not repeated seven is not repeated 10 is not repeated so that's all i think let's run it once again five One, two, three, two, one. Okay, so one is repeated once, two is repeated once, three is repeated zero times, 
so that's it for this video see you in the next video hope you enjoyed this one and bye for now